And your first session was with uh, Patti LaBelle. Yeah, like my first, like, my first big artist. I had did, I had did stuff before Patti. Like, you know, of course, like Casserine and there was um, um, other groups that were like on labels. But my first big artist in the studio was definitely Patti LaBelle. How did that feel? Because she's just a legendary singer. Man, and was, you're what, 16, 17? Yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was, um, in the beginning, I was a little like intimidated. Mm -hmm. um, and I did it with my brother. We went to Philly to work with her and she cooked, she had food there for us and all of that. Mm. And then once I worked, worked with her, um, I never forget there was a moment where she went flat on a note and my brother and I was like, my I looked at my brother, my brother was like, tell her she's flat. I was like, I'm not telling her, that's Miss LaBelle, I'm not telling her she's flat. And my brother's like, you want to be a producer, you gotta, you gotta, you know, man up and do it. And I'm like, all right, I push the button to tell her she's flat. And she's like, you can tell me I'm flat, baby. You know, right before I can even get it out of my mouth. I'm like, all right. Yeah, now nah, she's 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 a legend, she's an icon. Okay, and then by 95, you're 18 years old, you sign a worldwide publishing deal with yeah, AMI. Yeah. At 18 years old. No, at 17. I, 17. Had, I had to re-sign it at 18. Oh. I signed it at 17. There was a guy that worked for EMI Publishing named Brian Jackson, and he used to catch, catch the train down to South Jersey, and he would come, and, come to my basement and literally be in the studio with me. I had my basement had like wires all over the place, and he would just be listening to the music. He's like, yo, man, I want to sign you to a publishing deal. And and the funny thing is, I'll tell you a funny story that nobody really knows. Like, right when I went to go sign, Tommy Matola at Sony got wind of it. Mm. And he called he called our home phone. i never forget this, man. He called our home phone. He was like, Tommy Matola's on the phone. And he was like, I want to, I want to, I heard about you, I heard a lot of good things. I want to do a deal with you at Sony ATV Publishing. publishing. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, talk to my dad or whatever. And I ended up signing with EMI. And he called back like two weeks later and cursed me out. And was like, <laughs> I, I'm, Sony's the biggest machine in the world. And why would you sign with, with, with them? And I was like, because that guy, Brian Jackson, kept coming to my house for the last three months. Mm. That's why I signed. Even though Sony's deal was $200,000 more than what EMI was offering, I signed with EMI because Brian kept coming down. Yeah. He got on the train and that means a lot to me. Yeah. Like if a person's willing to, to leave their office you know, and, and go to your stomping grounds and spend time, and that's who I want to be with. Can you say how big that deal was? It was, it was a seven-figure deal. You were 17 years old. Yeah. And you just got a seven-figure check. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I think, like, I think, did, I think did you just actual, stare at it? I think the actual like, number was like one point eight million dollar deal overall. Something okay, like so even after taxes, you have over a million dollars. Yeah, I mean, if as you a, look as at a it that 17 way, year man, you old. can't. You know, I don't. I don't look at it that way because I look at it like when you sign it, when you sign a deal, like the numbers don't really, the numbers don't really matter. It's what's in the deal that matters, right? Right. So if you looked at that deal today, you'd be like, yo, you signed a jacked up deal. It was jacked up. <sighs> what was wrong with it? Well, in the publishing world, we have a thing which is called MDRC, right? And that means how many songs you place. So back then. Like right now, like if I sign someone to a publishing deal, I'm probably going to give them some money and I'm going to give them maybe a two song MDRC, three tops. Mm -hmm. Two song two song MDRC really means percentage, 200% um, or 300%, meaning you have to have 200% publishing, right? We weren't taught that. We didn't know that. So my MDRC was something like 16 songs, <laughs> right? So, and they have to be on art, they have to be on artists on major labels. That's another another thing in the deal. Yeah. Um, and so when I signed it, I signed it, right? And I did it. And then once I learned about it, I never complained though. I hear people complain about deals that they're in and publishing deals and all this. Like, I'm like, yo, they just changed my life. I literally moved my parents out of their house into another house. I literally got my mom the bins that I promised her without a rope when I was five years old. I'm not complaining. I'm going to go do the work now. If it says 1600%, then I got 1600% to do so I can get to my next, my next option and get to my next deal. So I went and I did the work and I got to my next option. And then I can negotiate now because now I'm in the driver's seat. Right. If you have success, if you have success, then you can go renegotiate your deals and be in a driver's seat. So that's what I did. How did it feel to buy your parents a house in your mom and Ben's? Oh, it was amazing. As a 17 year old. It was amazing. It was a blessing, right? Because the house that I bought them was it was it was in the neighborhood that we would that we would go trick-or-treating in. 
Mm-hmm. So it was like a neighborhood that for some reason, like, you know, we wasn't big on Halloween or whatever, but but if we did, then my then my mom and dad would want to take us to a safer neighborhood to go, you know, do it. Yeah. So this neighborhood was the neighborhood that they would take us. So I was like, that's the I'm gonna buy them a house in that neighborhood. So yeah, it, it, it was just it was a blessing, man, to be able to to do something special like that at such a young age.